Hey, it's Earthcastle, and today I'm doing a live video. How crazy. No script on this one. So yeah, it's different. It's very different. I'm running out of ideas. I can't do how to make a brush for one billionth time. So yeah, we're going to be asking an AI to make us a map. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a single brush, a single info player start and a single light environment. I'm going to take a screenshot so this this is what we're working with right here a ramp or sloped platform leading to a from the lower area to a higher platform okay all right so i guess i'll just put like a ramp in on this side should be easy also let me know if you like this video because if you do i'll do more of it like these unscripted type videos and if you don't I'll probably just stick to tutorials but I don't know I thought it'd be interesting to change from just doing tutorials 24-7 alright I guess that's the first edition small building or structure on top of the platform okay sure so far these are like pretty good pretty like you know, normal map responses. I expected something wild, but I guess not. I'm thinking like making maybe an apartment block building or something. This, I feel like this entrance is a bit too low, so I'm gonna reach that up. Yeah, it looks good. I've never really liked these ones. They're too like, they're too European half life y for me. I've gotta get an industrial, dark and gritty one. You know, I just learned you could do that, like, at least a week ago. I had no idea you could keep the brushes. I always thought you had to get rid of one of the sides. I mean, so far, it's it's not that bad, honestly. Like, this is something I would probably make. Nah, that's way too dark. 2000. Oh, my. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Alright, I gotta turn HDR off. I don't know why they added HDR to this view. It just makes everything look insanely bright. Well, I guess that's that. So let's do some more. Lifts or moving platforms. Okay, all right. That's kind of cool. I'll do that. Moving platforms, a tricky subject, at least for me they are. Like it takes me at least an hour to get an elevator working so this might be tough i mean so far it's good it's good level design by chat gpt so you know i can't complain you see this this would have caused a leak right here that's why it's important to double check i think i think i need to make it move linear or i guess i could make it a door that would be very easy Oh, <laughs> okay. I always go for this one, the garage doors. That's the start sound. That's the stop sound. Sometimes I wonder what like these textures were even intended for, like these random color textures. I'm pretty sure this is just pitch red, this one. All right, and now I'll load this up to make sure it is working properly. But the real test is the elevator. Does it work? No, no, it does not. Okay. So I finally got the elevator working and yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty cool. Unless you get up here, which is, I guess the elevated area that ChatGPT wanted. Please, it's something not as hard as an elevator, please. Decorative details. Okay, all right. I can do that. What I used to do is I used to just, like, keep the big box around the map, and I didn't do any of this. So all of that stuff on the outside that shouldn't be drawn was drawn. And that's probably why my old maps were so buggy, because literally every face was drawn at all times. It was crazy. 
If you've played any of my maps, you will have at least seen like one of these. They're in pretty much every one of my maps that I can even think of. Now, you might call it repetitive, but you could also call it continuity. So, you know, you choose. I mean, the process of like detailing is very just up to you. Like there's no rules, I guess, other than like keeping rooms in the same theme, I guess. You know, I used to be a big crate person. I used to have crates in every one of my maps, but you know, they looked a bit corny, a bit 2D. But these, these crates, look at how detailed they are. They got ridges in every single plank. The modelers did not have to go this hard. Also, the physics simulation is really useful for this. Until it does that, you know. Um, because if you want it to like be completely level, like completely on the ground, like you can never get it completely on the ground. It's always like a unit above or a unit below, but with the physics editor, like that is like level level right there. It's crazy. Who who made this? Who thought let's put this face on a sun? Absolutely perfect. I'm kind of just thinking of the props I have like in the current map I'm working on. So you know. Before I mounted Left 4 Dead 2, I was missing out. These props are so high quality, they look so good, and there's so many of them. I really should have like mounted it earlier. Oh yeah, also, I forgot to shill. I gotta shill my Discord server. Um, yeah, I have a Discord server, you should join it, if you want, and all that. Who is calling this a drum? This is a barrel, 100% barrel right here. Like a drum. Honestly, not that bad, you know? It's like, it's got good cover, good props, multiple levels, which I always have in my maps, well, at least usually have in my maps. Has a working elevator. Very awesome. Got this higher level up here, you can like shoot down there. This is what this is for. Like if someone's hiding behind there, you can go down here and get them from here. Oh, you you know what I didn't think about? How do you get the elevator back? And you got the inside area, I just added some like like shelves and stuff, you know, normal inside area stuff, inside map core, and I mean that's pretty much it. But overall, you know, it's a, you know a nice little quirky little map. I mean, I would play it with people, but I don't think anyone's playing this, you know. And yeah, I guess that's the that's the whole video. Like and subscribe. Join my Discord server for goofy. Goober.